Licensed scrap metal dealers in Kakamega County are decrying increased cases of vandalism, which they blame on the proliferation of the value chain by unscrupulous dealers after the lifting of the ban on the purchase and sale of scrap metal. The government last year lifted the ban on the trade of scrap metal, which had been imposed to curb increased cases of vandalism of critical infrastructure, including electricity transformers, transmission lines, rail and road infrastructure. If our access rate is 40 percent, it means there is an opportunity to connect 60 percent. If transformers are vandalized, so that the new transformers that are bought come to replace the ones that are vandalized, then the unconnected Kenyans are missing an opportunity to get connected to, to power. And now, cases of vandalism have increased, at least according to licensed scrap metal dealers in Kakamega County. If you go the way it is going, you are giving, giving the government an opportunity to do what was done last year. Because we, we have been told the damage is safe. So that we don't need to keep Mpaka Tuna employ security to guard scrap. And then we should be doing something else. The traders want relevant authorities to take responsibility and address the issue of licensing. Wale wanafanya kazi wale wadogo wadogo kuna the medium na kuna wale wanafanya hii kazi kiwango kikubwa kidogo. So it has been categorized. Ndiyo kusudi ni muhimu ya kwamba kila mfanya biashara lazima ajiandikishe. Ndiyo ijulikane wewe kuna deal na what kind of scrap metal. Na ikiwa hiyo imepatikana kwamba you are dealing with the classes which you are not entered. Sasa hiyo nayo utakuwa umevuja sheria.